welcome back to the world of me. This is another episode of Loot Crate Anime Edition here on World of Me. I have Geek with me this time. She's uh, feeling a lot better from the last episode. So uh, this time we got another box in, and uh, there we go. Standard standard Loot Crate box, the uh, kind of large rectangle there. And uh, something I do want to point out is this one does say for 16 and older, so there may be some stuff in here that's a little bit more risque for uh, younger audiences. Let's go ahead and get this open. All right, guys, well, here we go. Um, obviously, we've got a handful of things. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, kind of a six. I don't know if this one's really included or not. And then, of course, we've got our poster and our box that I have turned inside out. Uh, now, as you can see this box, it looks basically like a cash register. Uh, it even has the little thing on the back for the plug and for a uh, for some type of uh, display device and an on-off switch there. So, uh, And it says uh, cafe there on the back, so Loot Anime Cafe. Uh, maybe that's what, uh, what the, uh, the odd-looking $3 kind of bill kind of seems to go for. Uh, but we'll check this out in just a second. Let's go ahead and open up the um, poster here and uh, find out what it says. And of course, like I said on the last one, we did find out that uh, on the back of these, it does give you some information about each one of these. So, uh, but the advantage is I have Geek here to kind of do that for me. So here we go. Looks like, um, well, it looks like a cafe. Uh, a girl making coffee right there. And, uh, I'm guessing serving, serving maybe, she's got a smile on her face, looks like there's a, there's maybe a cute guy that she's uh, getting coffee for. And then, of course, on the back here, you have the different products that are here. Now, uh, they do only have, um, they only have five on here, so I'm guessing that bill is just kind of a gimmick to go along with the box. Uh, it does, however, say, work for it at the top so that must be kind of the uh, basically the the premise of what this what this grouping is all about so uh, well geek why don't you go ahead and grab one and we can just get into it uh, this also has to be has something to do with the box and the money as it looks like and it's loot anime cafe oh it's another one of the kitty yeah, it's a again one. one of the kitty charms uh lots of the kitty type things there you go there's uh there's our first item there you guys you have lots of bling if you get a get a handful of these boxes for your phones lupin the third the castle of caglia ostro uh Oh, it movie looks. Event. Oh, okay. So there was there was a movie that uh, that uh, was going on. Now, of course, we are a little bit late with this uh, in terms of when this will end up being released. So I'm sure these dates are probably going to be out. But uh, this was a uh, some type of an event, and they kind of used a money type look to it to advertise the event. Uh, this is for, as it says on the cover, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Uh, I know very little about this, but the gist is that uh, Kobayashi saved this dragon and uh, said dragon fell in love with her and decided to become her maid, her personal maid. And the dragon can basically shift into a human sort of form, which is what is most commonly seen throughout the anime. And uh, her scales basically form the dress that looks like a maid's dress, and occasionally she'll show her tail or her wings when she's just around uh, Kobayashi, Yashi, sorry, and um, her horns are always present, but most people brush it off as some sort of weird cosplay thing. Hmm. It's kind of cool. And then it's just, it's, you know, let's look, let's see the inside. The inside are just these, basically these plain plain sheets here so you can do some journaling or some drawing or whatever uh, and then it's got the little picture there okay so uh, I thought this was one that uh, one I was familiar with turns out it's a different character than I thought so uh, I think uh, geek here knows maybe a little bit more about it um, I I recognize the character I'm just gonna have to think about it for a second hopefully geek can kind of jog my memory 
So, as I don't know much about the character, I do know what anime he comes from, and it's something called Gintami. It's about, I suppose, in a sort of alternate uh, universe type thing, and aliens are fighting with the world, as we have seen in other loot crate. Oh yeah, that's been in quite a few of them. Yeah. The aliens are other pretty, loot crates. Co pretty common. And there's this group of samurais from Japan who come together to fight these aliens until they're betrayed and somebody makes a contract with some of the aliens who take over the government and ban all samurais from having their blades to fight. And so there okay. are people who start to come together in a secret society to fight against these people, or that's what I believe happens at the very least. Okay, okay. And I, and I do remember a little bit about this guy. Um, he goes, uh, they call him Jin Sun, uh, Jin being his name, and uh, he, he as well as we, as she was mentioning, he is a, a samurai or part of, part of the samurai culture or clan or whatever. And uh, he's known kind of as an odd jobs kind of guy. He does he does do some sparring and stuff, but he's known for doing different odd jobs around town and things like that. So uh, that's kind of a little bit more about him. I still don't remember a whole lot about him. Uh, I've only seen a little bit. So. so this one right here, might as well open it before I start talking about it. As it says on the tag here, it's from Bungo Stray Dogs. So in this world, it's about, uh, the anime is about these people who have special abilities and powers, and they use them for their jobs, basically, so to run businesses or even to be part of the mafia. But this closely follows a group that are detectives, and they go about solving crimes, I suppose. But, I mean, just like kind of, kind of basic normal people have skills and stuff like that, they just have kind of powers. Mm -hmm. So, okay. And then what is like a billfold type looks thing? Looks like... Oh, like a, almost like a... It almost seems like a small book cover type thing or, or just a, a carry case of some type. Uh, this is a Loot Crate special. That's where the uh, little symbol in the back there uh, comes from. So this was made specifically for Loot Crate. Uh, obviously you won't really find it anywhere else other than in Loot Crate boxes. Last but not least is this one, and we both actually know a little bit about this. Geek knows the most, so I'm just gonna let her have at it. So what Soul Eater is about is an academy that's run by the Grim Reaper known as Death to everyone who's in it. Uh, he's basically the principal of the school. So the school is for Meisters and their partners, which are death sites. <clears throat> they work together to take out enemies who have become corrupt, who have eaten the souls of other beings and have slowly gone insane and become these powerful monsters. It follows closely behind a girl named Maka and her weapon named Soul and they work together to defeat these people and to get 99 souls of these corrupted monsters and one witch soul to make it so that soul can become death's next uh, weapon, basically, as her mother had done before with her father. And it follows their story as long as a couple other characters like Black Star and Death the Kid, who is Death's kid, and another Grim Reaper. And uh, their journey as a lot of mishappenings go on and they help Death to keep the world a safe place for the most part. Okay. Alright, well guys, um, this one's been still still pretty decent, pretty 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 quick here, but uh, you know we got a handful of different different stuff here. We got a uh, couple of books here, the journal and the uh, and the manga. We've got the uh, of course the kitty charm there and the the case we'll call it. Uh, you know, be it a book cover, be it a case, be it a wallet, uh, whatever. And of course the figure. We again have the. Uh, poster right here and the basically the box that is makeshifting as a uh, cash register and the little uh, advertising uh, 
uh, $3 bill that's there in terms of, you know, just kind of going along with this where, you know, everybody's working to, to do something. You've got a maid who works for somebody, you've got uh, the coffee that's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a barista being, a, you know, at a coffee house. Uh, the soul eaters are working towards, you know, uh, making sure that they can get their, their uh, weapons to be the next weapon for death. You've got this guy doing all of his odd jobs, and you of course have a um, a little billfold here, which basically, you know, if you're making a little money, you would probably put uh, put your money in here or something like that. So kind of, I guess that's kind of tying along with everything and how it all goes together. So I think that'll pretty much do it. Alright guys, so um, I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. This was everything in this crate. Uh, thanks to Geek over here for helping us out. Alright guys, well, my name is Cougar. This is the world of me in another episode from the Loot Crate Anime Edition. My buddy Geek here. If you want to check these out, take a look at uh, Loot Crate Anime. Go down in the description below. There is a link down there along with links to all of our social media content. And when you're on your way down or when you're coming back up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's either going to be that one, of course, below the video or there's going to be ones floating around right over here. Hit those. Make sure you hit that bell icon down there and get it all set up so that you're notified when we've got new videos coming out. And of course, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know that you like the content and want to see more. Alright guys, well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye!